with today's Powering the Planet report, I'm Scott Cohn. Engineer Michael Stritsky has taken his New Jersey home off the grid. As far as the power company is concerned, he just doesn't exist. Electric bill two years ago was uh, average about $400 a month. Now it's zero. The system you see behind me uh, produces about 16 kilowatts of energy. Enough energy to keep his house, stove, and even his car all powered up. Lining Mike's garage are 56 solar panels that essentially turn his roof into a giant tree leaf. The energy needed to run every appliance in his house and then some is taken from the sun. When the sun is shining and I have excess energy, it's pushing the meter backwards. And any extra energy is used to separate the H from H2O, which he stores in these tanks. When I have short solar days, we grab the hydrogen in the tanks, we combine it with oxygen from the air, and we produce electricity, heat, and we get the water back again. This all sounds great, right? Well, here's the rub. This kind of energy independence doesn't come cheap, about half a million dollars, more than his old electric bills. So why is he doing it? We are going to take the best technologies that are out there and as they arise and integrate it into a machine that people can afford. Mike's mission is to make this technology more affordable for the average household so that all homes can be self-reliant for power. For more on the future of energy, check out... Powering the Planet is brought to you by BP. I just don't think we're going to be able to wean ourselves off of oil as fast as everyone would like to. Oil companies have to diversify. They can't just see themselves as oil companies. They need to see themselves as energy companies. If